What's up? I'm Triple Sheet. In this quick guide, I'll show you how to cap your FPS using a rivet tuner. Previously, I've mentioned that you can do this thousands of times and I've never actually got around to showing you how. So in this video, I'll be doing exactly that. Why would you cap your FPS with something like rivet tuner? Well, it's going to give you a better feeling experience than using an in-game FPS cap. Your FPS should be more stable and you'll get the usual benefits of capping your FPS, like less screen tearing if you're getting that, possibly better input latency in some games. And of course, your PC will use electricity, use less battery and generate less heat, meaning your components will last longer, etc, etc. So, Rivet Tuner. If you don't already have it installed, you'll find a link to download it below. Simply just choose one of these two download buttons. It doesn't really matter, they're not ads. The first one's their main server, I think. It should be a bit of a faster download. And the second one's a backup, I guess. Anyways, open the zip when it's done downloading, and you'll find the installer inside of it. Simply just run the installer and click through it. It's a simple, run-of-the-mill, usual installation process. Then simply untick the readme, finish, and open up Rivet Tuner. So in your start menu, search for RIVA, and you'll find the Rivet Tuner statistics server. When you open it and hit yes, you're not going to see anything. It's running, but it's just down here in your start bar in the bottom right over here. So you can see this brand new icon here. Right-click it and choose show, or, or just click it once, and it'll show anyways. Inside of here, we can control a rivet tuner. So by default, this will hook to any game that it could possibly hook to, and it'll apply the settings across the board. You'll find the frame rate limit right over here. Simply just click here and type in a number like 60 or 30 or 300, which I think is the max for this. And once you hit enter, that's it. Your FPS is now capped in whatever program this can hook into. You can change the detection level if your game's not being found to high or one of the other options up here. And you can even turn off stealth mode, which may make it more incompatible with certain anti-cheats. It's good to just leave the top settings as is, and you'll be fine in most, if not all cases. And once you get in game, you should see your FPS is now capped in the top left if you you have something like the Steam overlay turned on, like I do here. And of course, if we pull up River Tuner and type in 120, hit enter and tab back in, we're now getting a solid 120 FPS. That's what it's been capped to. Then if you'd like the FPS counter to show, for example, just make sure that show own statistics is turned on as well, and you'll see the FPS counter appears just like that. I'm pretty sure that by default, the FPS counter is turned off as things like MSI Afterburner and other apps that use River Tuner add their own overlay on top of it. So that that's why it's a separate option down here, just so it's not on by default. Anyways, that's it. You now know how to cap your FPS and even bonus tip, show your FPS in pretty much any game. When you're done, just click the minimize button up here in order to minimize it and keep it going in the background as it'll still appear down here in your usual task tray. So just keep that in mind. You can right click it later and choose show or close to exit out of it or pull it up again if you want to interact with it. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully you found this quick guide useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.